Hello everyone, Chocolate Birds here for another video review, and it's another New Zealand Whiskers bar this time. This time it's just a creamy milk bar. Um, fair trade, I don't think the others have said fair trade on them. I've seen. Which is a bit unusual, you'd think they'd all be fair trade. Yeah, seems to be only this one, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what that means, but yeah, so basically this one's fair trade. The other ones they do don't have the fair trade symbol on, so. Which is odd, normally it's all or nothing. Um, but maybe not with Whitakers, unless, I don't know, anyway, never mind. Um, yeah, so basically it's uh, uh, five roll refined. Maybe that means something to someone, not to me. Um, yeah, it's basically, I think they're just a regular milk bar, really. So it's got a milky cow on there um, and some milk chocolate. So Whitakers is a New Zealand uh, company. Um, I think they're expanding a bit, so you might see them in public uh, in... Um, Global a bit sooner or later, but maybe uh, it might take some time. Um, and I think this is just their regular milk, uh, milk chocolate. So you can see uh, Mr. Whitaker on the back there, looking very mustachied. Um, yes, J. H. Whitaker, founder of J. H. Whitaker and Sons. So our passion for making the very best chocolate knows no bounds. That's why the premium cocoa in this fair trade cream milk chocolate is refined five times. Five roll refined. Okay. And with our new Swiss made five roll refiner. It means we achieve the finest micron size and it makes for an even smoother, more delicious chocolate that, we, that we're sure you'll love as much as we do. Okay, so again, for New Zealand, they don't give you in killer, calori uh, killer uh, calories basically, they just give you the joules energy, uh, which is very odd, but so 589 anyway, killer joules. Uh, 8.9 grams of fat, 4.9 grams of saturates, and that's in every tenth of a bar, which is basically four segments from what I can work out. Oh, there we go. So yeah, so it's not that's quite high in calories really for what it is. I think normally you would expect to be the um, two by eight to be a tenth. Um, I don't know really. I, well, to most I'll say it's high in calories. I've no idea because it doesn't tell me, does it? <laughs> but um, anyway, yes. So who knows? Um, right. So let's give it a give it a go. So again, with whiskers uh, bar it comes in this lovely. Uh, Wrapping paper, you know, it's literally premium. You know, wrapping paper you wrap presents in. At least we do in the UK anyway. This is kind of like premium, thick quality wrapping paper. It's, um, <laughs> it's lovely, it's really thick. I don't, yeah, it's really nice quality. And you can see the Whitaker's motif on there. And it's sealed as well, so you have to actually rip it to get into it. Um, yeah, which I like. I think I'm um, impressed with this. So see, so I've not been overly uh, blown away. Um, hello to everyone if you're in New Zealand, by the way, watching this. Um, unfortunately, I've not been overly blown away with the Whitaker's chocolate so far. The couple of other bars I've tasted, chocolate's kind of been a bit non-existent. <laughs> the taste. Um, don't know. Maybe it could be my taste buds are dead or whatever. I don't know. But uh, I've had Finnish Carl Faser chocolate, and been very much impressed with that. And obviously, I love Cadbury's chocolate. Um, and the Whitaker one has not really bowled me over yet, so I'm hoping for good things from this. We shall see. So it is the big chunky bar. So it smells nice. Hmm. Nothing underneath, no nibbly bits sticking out because there's nothing in it. There you go, and it's got Whitaker's on it. So you can see this is a, a you know, 10 by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or 11. 11. So 11 makes it even more confusing. So, <laughs> Well, a tenth of this bar, whatever a tenth is, is what it says is the back. So why they've done 11 rows, I don't know. It's very strange. Good luck with working out the calories on this one. Anyway, so there we go. So, uh, right. So, I don't think it's, there's no point overly complicating this. It's just literally a block of chocolate. There's nothing inside. So let's give it a try. Hmm. Well, I must say, definitely, this is better. I mean, it is creamy. Than the chocolate they had in the Hokey Pokey one. And the um, Jelly Top Raspberry one, whatever it's called. Jelly Tip Top Raspberry flavoured one. This is actually a good quality chocolate. Um, it's creamy has a taste which is important <laughs> i mean it is regular it's just regular chocolate really so you know it's um i don't know for me myself i do prefer usually to have something in chocolate i don't generally just have just chocolate on its own um 
Although, you know, sometimes I do, it depends. Uh, it's not, I wouldn't say it's, it's not as creamy as Cadbury's chocolate. You know, I think, um, you know, I think you're, you know, and uh, definitely not as creamy as a Belgian chocolate or anything like that. But it's nice, it's, um, hmm. It's just nice, it's got a bit of substance to it. It's not gonna it's not the type of chocolate that would melt, you know, in your hands where you like a Belgian or a or Cadbury's wood. Um mm. It's definitely better than um I don't know why this chocolate isn't in the chocolate they use for the other ones. And I I think they did make a comment on the fair trade side of it, so there clearly is a difference because that symbol isn't on the other um the other bars of chocolate that I've had from Whiskers. I mean maybe it is now Maybe they've changed the way they do it. I don't know. Maybe this is just a, a run or something where they didn't do it and they've changed that. But the ones I got didn't have a fair trade symbol on it. But the other ones, the Hokey Pokey and the um, the Raspberry Jelly Tip Top Bar, whatever it's called. Um, and this chocolate's very much nicer. It's a, it's a nice chocolate, this. I mean, once I, I think I prefer possibly a more creamier chocolate. But um, such as, I say, a Cadbury's one, like a dairy milk, I think I could probably, I think I prefer to have that than this. Um, but this one's a bit more substance to it. It's probably a bit more of a, I'd say refined chocolate, which, you know, no pun intended there, because it's five roll refined thing, whatever. I think it's just a, a more refined chocolate. Um, it's probably a bit more upmarket. But that doesn't necessarily mean it tastes nicer, but I think it's that kind of chocolate, if you know what I mean. It feels a bit more, it feels a bit more like when you eat a segment of this, it's going to last you a bit longer and it you kind of save it a bit more than say perhaps the dairy milk segment. But I think the dairy ones do taste a bit nicer for myself. Um, I think this is more bordering on going towards people who probably eat dark chocolate, if you know what I mean. It doesn't taste of dark chocolate, nothing really like it, but it's going towards that way. I think it's that kind of consistency and that kind of flavour. It is a creamy bar, as I say, it's not. It's nothing like dark chocolate as such, but it's not as creamy as... Um, as a dairy milk and uh, things like that really, some, and perhaps some of the Belgian chocolates you have. Um, so it's probably going towards, more towards, slightly more towards people who probably prefer dark chocolates as in, as in, you know, it's just that, it's just going towards that consistency. Still far from it, I hope, so I hope I'm making some kind of sense. Um, but yeah, so why did I use this chocolate in the other Whiskers chocolates, I don't know. Um, because it's clear this is clearly a nicer chocolate, and I think the other ones, especially the hokey pokey one, if this if this side was filled with hokey pokey or whatever, you know, which is honeycomb for those who haven't watched the review. Um it's, it's, uh, must, must be New Zealand terminology for it. Um that, that would be a that would be a really nice bar, but for some reason they've got some really nondescript chocolate there that doesn't taste of anything. Um so the bar's just and the, and the honeycomb as you know doesn't Sometimes it tastes of something, but generally, well, the, the hokey pokey one they had didn't in the Whitaker's bar didn't really taste of anything. It was just a crunchy consistency. With this chocolate, it would be a nice bar. I think I gave it a two out of five. I think it would be a, probably a three and a half out of five if it had this chocolate, um, but it doesn't. So for some reason, Whitaker's have this. I would say this is probably their chocolate, um, you know. But for some reason, they don't use this chocolate when they're. Yeah, when doing another when doing the other bars, even as I said the Raspberry Tip Top one didn't I don't think have this chocolate. So very strange decision by them. I think that's something they should change because yeah, I think that, I think that whatever they fill their chocolates with won't taste of anything. <laughs> so that phaser chocolate for instance pulls it off. I mean, you know, they have a, a sort of interesting filling with a taste and the chocolate tastes nice. I don't know, it just works. Um I think maybe the filling's probably I don't really know really. I don't know. I love their chocolate. Um Whereas Whitakers, I think, need to do something about, uh, yeah, do something about um, the chocolate they use in other bars. At least one of the ones I've tasted anyway. Because this is a nice chocolate. I think a 3 out of 5 for me. Um, yeah, not too bad at all. <laughs> okay, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Um, follow my Twitter, subscribe, like my videos, leave a comment or two. Hello if you're from New Zealand, sorry if I've offended you. <laughs> um, you know, maybe it's just my taste, I don't know. Um, but let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now. See ya.